to another edition of Moments in the Word. I would like to ask you a question today. Are you a bathing beauty? <laughs> I know that's a really odd question, especially for those of you men who are tuning in. But it's a poignant question and one I would like to ask you to consider today. I'm reminded of the story of a farmer who had worked really hard in his field one day. He arose when the sun came up. He went out, planted seeds, pulled weeds, plowed the earth, and before he knew it, he was one huge mess. From head to toe, dirt had accumulated on his body, mingled with his sweat, and he just looked horrible. Well, the day progressed, as days usually do, and before he knew it, it was time to come home for dinner. As he began to approach the front porch, he noticed again how dirty he was, and he thought, wow, if I go in the house looking like this and get in the bathtub, my wife's going to kill me. I'm going to dirty up her beautiful tub. So the farmer decided to have a, a little bright idea. He reached over and he grabbed for a sponge that was sitting on the front porch. He dampened it with the water hose and as he began to wipe off the dirt, trying to clean up before he got in the wife's beautiful bathtub, he realized he was making a huge mess. It was just a few seconds of time before he realized he was worse off now than he was when he started. You know, this may seem like a humorous little story, a ridiculous story that probably would never happen, but it actually happens all too often, especially in things concerning the Spirit. Through the years, as my husband and I have worked in outreach ministry, one of the most common reasons we hear why people don't come to church or why people avoid coming into a relationship with Jesus is that they feel they're too dirty, that their lives are too messed up, and that there's just simply no hope of a relationship with Jesus because they feel he wants nothing to do with the dirt that has accumulated in their lives. So they step out on their own, trying to clean themselves a little bit so they can get to a point that they finally feel worthy to get to know who Jesus is. But you know, friends, just like with the farmer, it doesn't take very long of trying in our own effort before we've made a bigger mess of our lives than when we started. Romans chapter 5 verse 8 tells us that while we were sinners, while we were steeped in sin and mire and just the junk that floods our lives, that's when God sent his son to save us. God loved the world enough that he looked at his son and said, son, I really need you to go because these people need a pathway back to me. You're the only one who can do that. Are you willing to go? And even while we were still sinners, even before we had even began to be clean, Jesus said, yeah, Dad, I'll go. And so a relationship with him has now provided a gateway for us to get back to Father God. Friends, I want to encourage you today. No amount of work that you do on your own is ever going to clean your life up good enough to jump in the showers of God's love. Showers are created to clean us. That's their function. That's what they're for. And the showers of God's love and His grace and His mercy is there to clean you up. It is in that shower that the empowerment comes to make the changes in our lives we need to make. So I encourage you today, stop striving in your own effort because you're never going to be good enough on your own. You can't do it. You simply can't. You're just going to keep making a bigger mess of your life. Come on and get to know Jesus today because when you get to know Him, He's going to help clean you up. Thank you so much for joining in for another edition of Moments in the Word. See you next time. Blessings. Mr. Good Intention, so much I want to do. My mouth just keeps on running, but I never...